Last week, members of the opposition stormed out of parliament, protesting the continued detention of fellow members of parliament Alan Sewanyana of Machindia West and Mohamed Seglinya of Kawempe North. That same week, the MPs led by the opposition chief whip John Baptist Nambeshe vowed not to return to parliament until the MPs are unconditionally released. <laughs> Despite the show of anger from the opposition last week, the August House this afternoon saw the opposing MPs return in a surprising turn of events. The legislators returned to the House led by the leader of opposition, Matthias Simpuga, who had earlier commanded their exit. These were welcomed by their colleagues, led by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament. I also want to take this chance to welcome back our colleagues. Welcome back to the House. They're not back because things are okay. They're because we are the legislators for our people. Speaking to the members, the leader of opposition, Matthias Simpuga, revealed that their return should not be taken for granted because they are not about to give up in the fight for their colleagues. Our friends were produced before court and we still make the same demands that due process is followed and that the exercise to a quick, transparent, and fair trial. Mpuga now wants other fellow party members who have since been missing to be accounted for. Yeah, if you go to page eight and nine of my response, the sort of the nation, those citizens are well enumerated. But no speaker, we never got a response from government on those citizens. And um, it's business as usual. Through right no speakers, I take leave. Whether it wouldn't be procedurally okay to demand that you instruct government to respond okay. on the fate of those citizens. We will need more, more information from the right honorable leader of opposition because he's talking about state actors. We don't know whether it's the army or the police, but we shall interact. The opposition MPs now want Parliament to give them a proper explanation on how it can protect fellow MPs who are facing a conundrum. What protection and help, welfare and otherwise, does the institution of Parliament that employs me offer, Madam Speaker? That's what I wanted with me to find out from you, because our colleagues, I went to visit them in Chigo. They don't see the institution that employs them helping them. And for you to know that we are still supporting the members, the salary of members has not been cut off. Members are still getting their full salary because there is a presumption of innocence. Other MPs have vowed to fight for the justice of their colleagues. We want to engage these people with the, with the speaker, uh, myself, and then also the relevant ministers who, who abducted these people because this, the security agencies are the ones who abducted our people. So when we do that, that is a way forward that will yield results because we protested and when you protest, you need to engage them and force them to get our people out of the prisons. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament has revealed there will be a meeting between the opposition members and the security minister to forge a way forward on the matters raised by the opposition members. Ramson Mihiri, CTVPM Edition.